we're going to be talking about the new W Series remotes that we're coming out with, and supported in 7.3, and coming out with very soon. Um, they're a series of four remotes that are basically like a kind of like a bridge between our modular wall remotes and our touch screens and things like that. Even though these aren't actually arcs, I've mean, got an example that kind of fit in here to show you the. Let's see if I can get this on the screen here. This would be like the W2, and the button's right along here to allow you to show how easy it is to control this. We'll get into the W2 in a moment. So these are located in the toolkit uh, in under IP remotes, uh, right under P1, T5. Now we have the W1, 2, 3, and 4 to choose from. You drag in and you locate just like a DSP or any other IP-based item. They're PUE powered, the AF standard, so this, the first standard uh, for I, uh, PUE power. Um, they fit in a standard Decora faceplate and they'll fit in any standard wall boxes for both the, um, the US and the U. Uh, EU UK size and they're available in black and white so for the four versions that we have here the W1 let me go ahead and start with the W1 these are pretty uh, pretty robust for programming but we'll start with a few I've got these all programmed up to make this move along um, going into the unit properties we can find in remote settings the basic settings are in blocks so we got the encoder button mode so the w1 has a button that you it's got the encoder for twisting but you can also push the button and it'll function in two ways it'll function as a single use or it'll function as a select and set and we also have the menu style here and then when we're doing the, the menu style and the preset menu style you have choices here one of the also uh, one of the other cool features of this is that uh, in 73 is that these come now with simulators that are fully functional so you can actually do your programming without having the w series remote with you and just open up your simulator and be able to see how it functions before you are on site if you're working from home and you need to go and set it up at the last second you'll know that it's all going to work this one i have set up with a the knob is functioning for one uh, gain and the button is for one let's say in this case it's a mute so we've got one button and one gain so that's the simplest function for the w1 there easy to use then like i said we, before we can set it up as a menu uh, select and set so i'll open up the simulator this one's set up now so that each time you push the button, it takes you to up to eight different gain, any fader slider, and it could be from the same gain or the same mixer, or it could be different mixers. So you can control up to eight gains or any fader function. And I also set it up to show you for the OLED display that it can be set up for symbols, um, you can set the uh, properties up in many different ways, setting up the values for percents or decibel levels and setting up a, like I've got the symbol for the music notes there. That's pretty cool. Okay, moving on to the W2. That's the one I showed you with the four buttons. Again, in the unit properties, you can go in and see the different settings. This is the, the simplest. It's just got the default uh, button menu style and then preset style. And a radio button style. So when we look at the simulator, this is a simple four mute on off. If we were doing presets, now these are these are assigned from the preset menu. They go, they just go right from the preset menu, and they're assigned in. And again, with the symbols, I showed how customizable this is set up. You can flip flop these values and. Um, other settings and do whatever you want with these with this display it's really cool this one is the radio button setup so we have little LED lights that show you when you got something selected and again more custom symbol work to show how easy it is this one's set up with a momentary we have latched so anything you can set up any control um, modules you set up Moving on to the W3, this one is like a combination of the W1 and the W2. It has an encoder and four buttons. And the encoder now can be set up in a different way. So when we go into the unit properties and go to the remote settings, you'll notice that there's, we have the button menu for the single encoder menu and the select and set. 
but also now an encoder menu select that allows you to do uh, a great deal of programming with this uh, W3. And let's go ahead and open up the simulator. I'll show you a few that I've got programmed up. This one is set up simply with the, these four buttons are not related to the encoder. So the encoder is a simple gain and one button function in these four buttons. If we wanted to extend that to select and set, this one now has pushing the encoder gives me different gain levels. So eight gains and then four presets, or these could be other radio buttons or anything else. So these are separate. You can also set this up for the select and set so that the button controls the encoder. So this is going to control the volume level. This is a simple way to, if somebody is not, you're, you're, you really want to have somebody to see exactly what they're doing, you're going to push the button and it's going to control the volume in that way. Um, they're set up with some custom symbols just to just keep showing that off how it's very easy to to do very customizable programming use any fonts use any symbols that you import or that you work with in the program now the w4 is an extension of the w3 in that it has basically a w3 and then a w2 together so now we have eight buttons in an encoder and this really gets into a lot of uh, capabilities for this unit here I've got a room combiner set up, and I've got a, a simple single button on this one. This is the encoder select, but you can also set it up for select and set, so you have multiple buttons, and whoops, that's the wrong one. This is the select and set. This is the one, yeah, we got eight mutes and eight gains. So eight gains, eight mutes. I think this one was the one where we had yeah, eight different select and sets. So this is gain three, and so we have eight different volumes. And again, with the, all kinds of customizable knobs and, and menus that you can work with, there's, it's really very uh, flexible. And we're going to get into that in a deeper um, webinar coming up. 